Hey, what's up, Garden Friends? If you're Tropical Plant Party, I have a mask on. You're not going to be able to hear me, and this is extremely last minute. I don't have a vlog today because I've been doing things all week that have nothing to do with plants. But I had to stop by Home Depot uh, for some things, and I thought I'd be like, hey, look at, here's some plants. It's going to be very brief, but they got some nice stuff in. Like, look at the tiny little baby zigzags. Aren't those cute? And down here, tons and tons of nice stuff with these other cactus, and then some look like the fairy castles and fun things. Nice cactus. That's a cute anthurium, and they have some nice looking white ones over here too. Those are fun. Some of those like darker, kind of chocolatey ones. I know people really like these, which I don't, I kind of get it. It's pretty. I don't know, does anybody else always feel inclined to have to touch the cactus to see how sharp they are? It's a terrible idea, but I can never stop myself from doing it. A whole bunch of big guys down here that are doomed for death because they're hanging out in the dark where they can't get any light. Maybe they'll get moved up soon. Some cute corn plants and money plants. Look at these Sensivarius Dracenas. Very nice. Got some Loratas here. These look like little fiddles. They do, definitely don't look like the regulars. Everything is zoomed in. So close. Why won't this grow more wide? I'm sorry. I don't know what that's about. Yeah, see those stems? That's a bambino. Very cute, but also kind of dying. Oh, I love all the little plants. They're so cute. Can't wait to start getting back into the terrariums. <laughs> Look at how little, I mean, this is cute. It's very cute, but quite dinky for a 10 inch pot. And also, um, no. Wow. Might be an 8 inch pot still. That they're so little. Not saying size matters, but sometimes it definitely does. Oh, and I didn't even realize that I had walked right past the trending tropicals. Those are some tiny little figs compared to the others. I mean, look at that booty. I feel like I have to. Got some ravens over here and some philodendron birkins. I turn it on, you run away. Are you gonna jump up? That's a big jump. Can you do that? Hey, pumpkin. I don't think I ever did the, hey, what's up, garden friends? Jeff here, tropical, you good? I hope you're good. I'm all right. Uh, again, didn't film anything this week. There's some stuff going on with Tucker and just kind of been focusing on hanging out with the dog, you know, he's old. So, I mean, I assume you get what's going on there, right? So, uh, wasn't vlogging today. He's in a very good mood. He's upstairs sleeping. So I went out and ran a couple quick errands and that I could do a quick update on some of the things I got done since the last vlog. Like I got the other panel of curtains in here and I strung up some fairy lights behind them, which looks much, much, much more beautiful at nighttime. Still think it came out quite nice. I haven't done the film up top yet, but at least it looks better. That really did help having more plates on those shears and the fairy lights the string lights oh they are so lovely got some orchids in the mail I'm going to do a separate video on that i want to have a little plant chat with my house plant peeps about some orchid stuff but again i'll do that another time and they came packed with packing peanuts which i know terrible for the environment which is why i don't buy them but when they come in a package i get oddly excited about it because i save them uh, they make such excellent media to put in the bottom of pots to help facilitate drainage. I like them better than gravel. Like I said, I won't buy them though. But when they come, I save them, put them to good use. I feel like I left off saying there was something I was going to do with this fish tank. I'm sorry, I scared them. My gesticulations, they're not into it. I don't remember what it was, so just here it is. Oh, was it the light? I think I updated that in that video though. I did swap out the light so it's not as yellow, but still not a very good light. We're still gonna have to do something over here, get that fixed up. Yeah, I think that that's everything from last week's vlog quite a gloomy day outside and i don't hate it it's kind of cozy speaking of cozy why do i still have on pants it's saturday <laughs> why'd you look at me like that dude you're not in trouble you good boy okay that's better get back to normal life now normal life how things have changed normal life is walking around the house in sweatpants probably do something about that that's not really great is it I don't think so. Okay, I remember what the other thing was. It was the other fish tank. Not that this matters, because I don't think I ever updated while I was working on the fish tank, but here we go. I had mentioned that I got new lights for this tank so I could rotate the lights on the other tank. And yes, I'm well aware there aren't plant things going on right now. I haven't actually set these up, so I'm not positive how to turn them off. Let me figure that out. Nope, can't figure out how to turn them off. I was gonna do like a before and after, but I didn't. 
I don't know how. There's not an on switch and I haven't devoted any time to actually trying to figure out how to use them, but you can bump them up from 10% to uh, 100 and that makes a difference. Much brighter now, much better for fresh water. I know, the tank's a mess, don't worry, the water's clean, the fish are okay. But this is an improvement because there was just one skinny light on here before because I had to take the light that was on here and put it on that other tank I just showed you. And now we've kind of come full circle, sort of. Yep, that's it, we're up to date. Oh, I was gonna go out to the garage and like light these plants up and show you what I got, but that actually seems like a lot of work and unnecessary because I only got two plants. I got one of the Hypnophytum Papuanums. I'm sure I butchered the name on that, but the big booty ant plant. Fun plants, epithetic. I need to do something else with it. I don't think I'm going to keep it very well in this pot. Ant plants are fun. I've killed a few of them in my day by overwatering them from not having them potted up properly. What I've learned when I've had these before is I do much better when these are potted up in a wooden basket. So that's what I was going to say, is I'm going to take it out of that coconut that it's in, which is probably okay, as long as it's watered properly. I just, just to be safe, to save it from myself and overwatering it, I would prefer it be in something that has more airflow around it. I just couldn't resist, because like I said, look at that butt. This plant is so big and thick and juicy. The good juicy, don't eat it. I think it'll kill you. And then uh, I got a raven. I talked about these in one of my other videos, and I was like, I don't really get it but maybe it's because I don't have one and there are enough comments in that video to convince me to go ahead and grab one. They had had them at my local Lowe's for a while and after I saw them in the video where I was talking about them, I remember thinking how I wanted to go back and get a look at them. This is, this is not like to focus and help. This is a very, very dark corner over here. It was one of those plants where after having seen it and then leaving the store, I was like, I mean, that could be fun to go ahead and get one. Especially when everybody's talking about how it's fun, how they open up with the different colors and then fade to black or darken to black. So there it is. A very, very, very hard to see. Don't know how to light that up any better. Raven. There you go. That's a little bit better, but my hand's kind of trembly. But you get it. It is very pretty. I do like it. Especially to the extent that I like it more than just a regular ZZ. Because, I mean, those are just one of those plants where it's like, yeah, been there, done that. Those have been around for a long time. So that's that. The two plant plant haul. Like I said, I'll talk about the orchids in a different video. Those are fresh. They just arrived, so they're just sitting here so I can, like, can keep them consistently moist. Have to miss those a bunch to get them to recover from shipping. And they get soaks in here. That's why there's some water in here with just a tiny, tiny, tiny little pinch of fertilizer. I know, really not much to this video. Sorry about that. Like I said, I just, I didn't vlog this week. I've been hanging out with the dog trying to help keep him comfortable. And there's something to update with that. I'll update, but like I said, I think, you know, y'all know what's going on. He's almost 13, so, you know. I don't think there's anything else going on plant-wise because I really haven't been doing much with the plants this week, like at all. I've kind of neglected them somewhat. I need to go out and do some watering this evening, probably. There is a new leaf on the variegata, but it's really hard to see because of the glass cloche that's in front of there, that cloak, little tiny leaf. They're not getting a ton of light over here. So that's probably the way it's gonna be for the next like, I don't know, two or three weeks. I had to kind of stick it further back into the corner to make room for the Christmas stuff, which you can't even, you can't even see anymore. So I don't know if that matters. The Melanochrysum is really enjoying this big glass bell that I put over it in the last vlog. I had mentioned it had this leaf on it and it was trying to open that leaf for like a week and a half. Like it was just like it had started and then just sat there. So putting this over there, it popped open the next day, and then it's already, within a week, got another leaf getting ready to pop out there. That's not really very surprising, is it? I mean, these the uh, melanochrysums, if you give them that humidity, they tend to, like, really, really do their thing. I did have some people ask me where I got this from. I think the website was called Glass Vase Depot. I'll double-check that, and it'll be up here on the screen, whatever it is. And then there was one other thing that's been bugging me. I had somebody ask me about their, I think it was their lime tree in a video a while ago, and I lost the comment. I can't find it. Things get drowned out very, very quickly. But the I remember the question was about leaf drop. Theirs was dropping foliage. So the citrus, when you bring them inside, that is totally normal. It's just kind of something they do. Now, if they start doing it to an extent where the plant's like defoliating completely, then that might be something to be concerned about. Otherwise, I wouldn't worry about it. It's very, very normal for these to drop leaves. They don't have the humidity usually inside and there's less airflow and they can be really finicky about their soil because they like to stay consistently moist. It should never be damp. It's, you know, they can, they can be brats just like the croton. Oh, the comment was probably in the croton video.
Uh, either way, here we are. So sometimes it could be an issue with the soil not being able to keep it consistent and things conditions just bouncing around a little bit too much. Sometimes it's lack of humidity. It can be too much light. It can be too little light. It's again, it's one of those things where you just kind of have to go through the process of eliminations to figure out what's causing it. It is if it's something that's happening to a point where it's losing tons and tons and tons of foliage. But if it's just a few leaves here and there, I wouldn't be too concerned. Okay, there we go. Caught up, very brief, chaotic and short. I apologize. It is, gosh, what time is it? Oh, I don't think I'm gonna get the video out between four and five like I usually do. We will see if this is edited horribly, then, well, you know why. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope everybody's doing well, having a great day, a great life, and everything's just going beautifully for you. And of course, as always, and most importantly, everybody, Toby, say hi. You gonna say hi? Nothing? Oh, we've had a very busy day of doing nothing. Keep on growing. Bye-bye.